Nancy from the Hobby Studio again, and today we're going to do a kid's craft. And what we're going to do today is called salt painting. It's super easy to do, and you can do this with materials that you will have around home very easily. So number one material you're going to need is table salt. And then you're going to need some watercolor paint. Now you can just use a little set of watercolors you might have. Or if you have acrylic paints, if you add just a dab to your little container and then add quite a bit of water to it, it'll make it into watercolor. So you can use that. You will need a cup of water, a soft paint brush, and some glue. So real easy materials to find. Then you're going to need paper. It's best if you use cardstock paper because it holds that moisture a little better, but you can also use watercolor paper. There's different kinds of paper that will hold the watercolor better. So first of all, you're going to take your glue, and then you're going to draw with your glue. And so I'm going to draw a butterfly just like that. And we're going to go here like that. And then we're going to make its antenna. And then I'm going to put some little dots in there. Just like that. Just so simple. And then we are going to take our salt. You want to be pretty liberal with your salt. So you want to cover that whole area just like this. Let that glue get all that salt. And then you are going to take that and shake that off. I'm going to put it right on this piece of paper so I can save it for later. Just like that. And you'll see that if we have that raised area where that glue was, I think it's kind of cool just like that. But now what we're going to do is we're going to touch ever so lightly with our paint onto that salt. And it's so fun to watch the salt absorb the paint colors. Of course, the darker the paint, the darker. So you'll just touch each little area just like that. And you can watch as the salt absorbs that water and paint. It's so interesting to watch just like that. And you can use different colors to paint your butterfly. So you can go through and just lightly touch and just kind of go along. And it's just amazing. And then you have this wonderful painting that's raised up off of the paper. And you can just go along again and use all kinds of cool colors and make something really fun and happy. Look at that. So cool. I know I did this with my granddaughter a while back and she had a ball doing these. So you go ahead and just go along with all different colors that you would like to do. Here I did a happy face. So you can draw uh, any number of things and do all kinds of creatures on paper. So super easy craft and I hope everybody has fun this weekend doing some different crafts with salt, paper, and watercolor. Again, thank you so much and we'll see you soon.